great looking, great and straight ahead, great. Is that quite the way? Right? Well, what is the shot of the deep end?
basically. So would you with me for a second? Yeah, you look off a little bit, a little bit, but in the light. Just kind of break for it. A little bit more this way. There we go. And up a little bit. There we go. So a little bit more back this way. Up like. I get a look in this way here.
Yeah. Like, where's the fan? Toward the staff of the fan. Yeah. If it's too much on your eyes, let us know. Mikey, how's it look on the screen? Does it look better close up like this? No. No? So, to come back and someone's foot. We need a little more. I cannot. Does it feel like it's for ears to flatten it too much? <laughs> okay, we're done. If she gets judged, I want judge. <laughs> you know, from Twilight, hey, extra, welcome to the set of this uh, our photo shoot. Cool. Any way you want to do it, you can practice it a couple of ways. All right, all right. Here we go. Looking straight at the camera, ladies. There we go. We're good. Hi, extra. I'm Ashley Green. I play Alice Cullen in the film Twilight. Uh, thanks for coming to our shoot. I'm Rochelle Lefebvre, and uh, yeah, welcome to our shoot for H Magazine. You want to do another bit? And oh in three, two. Hey, Extra, I'm Ashley Green. I play uh, Alice Cullen in Twilight. I'm Rochelle Lefebvre, and welcome to our H Magazine photo shoot. Thanks for coming. Perfect. Yeah. We're rolling our speed. Okay. All right, so anyways, you've done modeling before. You know what it's like to be in front of a camera. What's a day like this for you today? Is, it, is this easy next to a big shoot of Twilight? Um, it's fun? Yeah, I think um, I, this one's much, much, everyone's nicer, I think, <laughs> as opposed to, to actual modeling. Um, no, it's really fun. You know, I haven't seen Rochelle in a while, so it's kind of nice to be back goofing around with her. Mm -hmm. How close did you, all you guys get when making this movie? Is it, is, you guys stuck together up north for a while? You coming like a family? We were, um, yeah, we got really close. Um, we all stayed in the same hotel, and um, you know, even we'd shoot for 14 hours a day, and then we'd get off and go out to dinner together, and 
run lines together. So we all kind of really became a family unit. Yeah. So were you, because people knew you were shooting up there and because this movie has such a fan base, were there odd people hanging on to kind of get pictures of you guys or to get autographs or, hey, that's the girl playing this person? Or was any of that going on up there? Um, you know, the hotel, we were fine, um, but they definitely did come to set. And it was cool, though. I mean, even a lot of the extras were big Twilight fans, yeah. so it was kind of cool to interact with them and fun. You know, we did the movie to bring their book to life, so it was really cool to interact mm -hmm. with them. When did you know this was a big deal? Like, when did you know Twilight was a big deal? When, is there a certain day on set when you thought, oh, wow, this is, I'm part of something big here? Um, I mean, probably midway through. It was just, you know, it's one of my first big films, and it's really bizarre that I've got all these fans now that are making fan sites and coming to set and asking for autographs. And it's, I mean, it's really cool, but that's kind of when I was like, wow. We hadn't done anything, and all of a sudden, it's this big deal. Was that your hope? Did you know this was the kind of project that could generate that kind of thing? Um, I didn't in the beginning. I mean, I, um, I understand why. I read the books. I read all three books before I started filming it. Mm -hmm. um, and I fell in love with them, so I get it. But um, I definitely didn't realize it was going to be as big as it's becoming. Mm -hmm. It's a nice surprise. Yeah. Talk about your character and going in what you thought she was going to be like and what you kind of did with her to make um, her your own. My character, I play Alice Cullen. And she's one of the, the good vampire Cullen family. Um, and, you know, she's the happy-go-lucky, pixie, cute little vampire that kind of is always the, I guess, uplifting one. Like, everything's fine. Um, she also has the advantage of seeing the future, so she kind of knows that everything's going to be fine. Um, and, you know, reading it, there's, I did a, a lot of background research on her, and, um, and she, she definitely, I mean, she was in a mental institution before she came into the Cullen family. Mm -hmm. um, Having said that, I think that's why she's so, I mean, she just loves her family and they're so accepted and they all love each other. And, um, you know, I really just had fun with it. It's a great character to play. It was, you know, nice to be able to go on set and just be happy yeah. all the time and, and whatnot. But um, to prepare for it, you know, I read the books a few times, did a lot of background work, um, anything from poetry to movies, kind of put everything in together. Mm -hmm. Talk about what the, the wire work and the jumping into trees like you mentioned before. How much physical stunt type stuff did you guys get to do? Um, they were pretty good about letting us do everything that we could. You know, um, I had to definitely had to do wire work, which I've never done before. Um, it was so fun. We, we jump off, you know, this balcony and, and it, there's this whole fight sequence that we get to do. Um, so I learned how to do all that. I learned how to play baseball. I get to pitch in the film, um, hit the cameraman a few times yeah. with the baseball, but um, got to do that and, and got to see the future. So I, I really got, um, Got a lot under my belt in this one. Now, do you, don't, do you get your own love story in this one, or is it all? Um, I do have, I have a soulmate in the movie. Um, Jasper is his name. Jackson Rathbone plays him. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, basically, I because I can see the future, Her the background is that um, I find him in a diner. And I realize that this is the guy that I want to be with. And mm -hmm. he comes with me and um, you know gives up eating people for me and becomes a good vampire along with me. Very, what vampire stuff do you get to do other than jump out of trees? Do we get to see you do vampire things? <laughs> vampire things. Well, you know, we don't have things. Right. Um, and, and I don't eat people. So, I mean, really, the extent of, of mine is, you know, the superhuman speed mm -hmm. we have. Um, definitely jump off things. I um, get to kind of tear someone to pieces, which is, which is fun. Cause I didn't really get, I didn't know I was going to get to that just because my character's so nice and happy yeah. and whatever. And, um, she's kind of ferocious when she's fighting for her family. Um, you know, other than that, I guess seeing the future is kind of a... Those are, those are cool vampire things. Yeah, I got a really good end of the deal. Yeah, I get to do a lot, <laughs> a lot of stuff in the film. <laughs> Talk about what your life is like right now as this movie is going to be rolling out soon in terms of these photo shoots. How many of these are you doing? How many magazines? How busy are you right now? It's, um, you know, I've heard this is kind of the calm before the storm. Uh, we did a little, uh, a couple of months ago, like I, I did Maxim, which was so, so fun. We did Teen, Teen Vogue, um, and a couple of events and interviews, and which is all really new to me. And it's, yeah. it's so amazing. But uh, I'm, I'm hearing that pretty soon we've got a lot of things lined up. I think this weekend I've got two different photo shoots and yeah. a couple of interviews. So it's, it's getting busy. It opened a lot of doors for me, which, you know, after Twilight, the meetings that I'm getting and the opportunities that I'm getting are, they're great. Mm -hmm. nice. Is there a, a dream co-star you'd love to, now that your, your doors are opening, or a dream <laughs> director or something you, you 
of next year, if anything could happen for you, is there a dream project you're working on or someone you'd love to share the screen with? Um, I always think a Tarantino film would be really cool. I mean, these films are just amazing. Um, I kind of, I think it would be, and Charlize Theron is one of the actors that I really look up to. Mm -hmm. um, so to actually get to share the screen with her, I think would be amazing. I always say that she's one of the people that I would love to follow in her footsteps. Um, would love to do something like North Country. But yeah, to actually share the screen with her would be, would be quite amazing. Mm -hmm. And sharing this, this day and sharing this, the, the magazine screen with uh, Rochelle, what that's like to have the two of you kind of face to face on the shoot together, because your characters are opposed, obviously, in, in the film. Right. So talk about the dynamic of the, of the two of you. Um, yeah, um, it's fun. You know, she's obviously, she plays the evil vampire, which I've said before, I, if I wasn't playing Alice Colin, I would love to play Victoria because she's just so evil. You know, and it's, it's a cool, a cool thing to play. Um, but she's a sweetheart in real life. She's definitely not the mean girl. They always say that you usually have to get really sweet girls to play the really right. evil people on screen. Um, but no, it's a fun, it's, it's a blast, you know, we get glammed up and to goof around. So. Mm -hmm. And how's your family, friends taken to this? You're kind of <laughs> what, how busy you are now, and what this movie can bring. I think they're enjoying it more than I am. Yeah. No, I always um, everyone's like, do you read the internet? And I'm like, you know, I think I read the good things because every every single day my mom calls me and she's like, I googled you today. I googled you again, and my roommate does the same thing. But you know, they from the beginning they've been really supportive, um, really great, and they're just they're really happy to see me succeed. And they're actually really good about keeping you grounded too, which yeah. is nice because they're like, you better not change. Um, but no, they're they're thrilled about. Well, speaking of Google, like so when I first heard I was doing this and the movies all coming out, I look, I looked up, you know, IMDb in the cast list, and your name kept popping out and everything, and more sites and more little buzz things kept coming out about you. And I told Shannon, is Ashley going to Comic Con? We got to do something on her because it seemed like the, all the buzz is around you right now. So you're conscious <laughs> of that and oh, all thanks. that's going on. Um, that's great. No, um, I didn't really look at it that way. Um, I'm bummed I didn't get to go to Comic Con. I heard yeah. it was crazy. Um, but also, I know that Rob said he was quite overwhelmed because he's got a lot around him. But um, no, it's I'm I'm blessed, I guess, to say you know the fact that there's a lot of buzz around me because I know that everyone's um, everyone's really looking forward to it. But obviously, there's Kristen and, and Robert. That's kind of the two characters that everybody wants to be with or be. Yeah. Um, so the fact that there's you know a good amount of buzz around me makes me really happy. I'm really thankful for it. Yeah. Very good. All right, Ashley. Thank you. Thank you.